Hey guys, what's going on? Peace. It's your boy Serrano. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the new update, software update that we did get and receive, uh, which is the latest Android security update from Google for the Huawei Y7 2019. Now, this device is really nice. It's, you can see the button placement right here with the power rocker power button and um, volume rocker on the right and you're getting really nice display which is going to be 720 by 1520 also you are getting three gigabytes of ram and 32 gigabytes of internal storage 32 megapixel camera with a two megapixel sensor let's take a look at the uh, software update right here i'm gonna go ahead and turn on wi-fi and take a look at it so what we have to do is enter in software update you can see we are running mui 8.2 and with this new software update which is the dub xl3 8.2.148 the c series c605 custom uh, 605d1 so um it's basically going to be the security patch so we just you just go ahead and hit that and we'll get updated to the latest software on Google, which will protect our device from security threats and outside, um, you know, any vulnerabilities. So basically, it's gonna keep that thing safe, locked in and ready to go. And, um, you know, this device is really popular worldwide. I noticed that people from, you know, South Africa had, had a lot of people purchase it from South Africa, even the US and even other parts like the Philippines. So definitely if you're watching this from like like another part of the world or even the US, definitely big shout out to you because this device has um, actually been one of the top sellers in the budget department this year. And um, you can see right here it's at 66% and you can see even the, the body of this thing looks really nice. It hasn't gotten one scratch on it from either in the front or the back. And it's just remained very premium. I don't know if that's because sometimes I like to rock a case a lot or yeah, that's probably why, because I, I like to protect my phones a lot. But this thing is basically brand new and I've had it for like for the last six, seven months. So that's definitely pretty sick that this thing has kept up throughout the whole year. And there's not one single scratch on the back of it or front. Now let's just go ahead and um, start that software update and you can see right here immediately we'll enter the reset screen. Now when you'll see the right, right here that the Huawei um, screen comes on and we're going to wait for that to load up. So it should take about, you know, for me this whole process took about a half hour but this whole video will be sped up to make it a lot easier for you to see the update before you actually install it on your device. I know a lot of people get the, the updates earlier than me and some might even get it later than me, but if you, uh, on whether side, either side what you're on, definitely can watch this video to just refresh yourself of what it entails. But um, it's just a quick uh, update because I like to, any device that I get when it has an update, there's definitely new software you know patches and stuff this is simply just the software patch there's no like updates to the camera or or software or um even the um os but it's basically going to be um refreshing the software and adding a um you know some patches to the vulnerabilities that are in the system but um basically this thing has been holding me down when it comes to a lot of the performance that it does have to offer somebody on the channel had just recently told me that they were in their 60s and they were thinking about buying this device as a vlogging phone their first first vlogging phone and i can definitely say it's you know definitely a good option too in the budget arena you're getting the selfie camera which is going to be um really good selfie camera on this thing um so you know you're getting um the 13 megapixel rear uh and this thing just has really nice um you know just uh overall it's a really nice device 
uh, so you can see the screen is just spotless after having this thing for so quite some time now uh, you, you do get two variants of this thing but I have the three gigabytes I don't have the four gigabyte version um, and you can see that it did um, does have a, a front-facing camera that is 16 megapixels now there's there's another version of this phone that has a 13 megapixel but um, it just depends on what region or model you, you purchased so this this model is definitely gonna have some really good performance too as well as the other one but the only difference is that 13 megapixel versus the 16 on the front so right here you can see that you know the the there's no glare like um basically you're getting really good viewing angle um with the 720 display uh it has a, a snapdragon 450 and you can see that it's just a joy to use right now i have a theme on there where you know i just put a theme over top of you know the um software so you can see right here my my icons are modified and it's just customized to my personal preference so you can see when we go into settings and just locate the latest uh, security um, patch right here. I'm just going to click that and locate, you know, where the software is. Also, this phone does have extremely good battery life. You get 10 watts charging on this thing. So it's, it's not the best in the world, but you do get a 4,000 milliamp hour battery and it does have USB the micro which is you know i wish it did have type c but you know it's not a big deal whatsoever to me um i have plenty of type c cables and usb cables in the house so it doesn't matter i just whatever one i need i just grab um you do get a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack um and you also do get um you know some really good um screen density it's 269 pixels per inch so you know it could sh you see you see right here is running september 1st now and that's not even bad whatsoever um so you know we're still we're, we're currently pretty up to date right now um considering that i was probably on like i don't know maybe like a june up, uh, software update before that so that's pretty cool um, but you can see you could also get the option to theme this thing. It has an IPS LCD capacitive touchscreen with 16M uh, colors. You also do get a size of the screen, which is 6.26 inches. Um, it does have an 80 percentage screen to body ratio. Um, you do get the uh, dew drop right at the top to give you a little bit of more uh, percentage of screen to body, uh, which is definitely pretty cool. Now, this thing does have the hissing sound for when you have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, but it doesn't work with the Bluetooth. So you, you get like some settings for when you want to, um, you know, mess around with that. But there's no NFC on board this device either. But you get a ton of features such as um, mirror share where you can mirror this thing to the TV or something like that. Um, but you can just see I'm playing around with the theme on here, which is definitely pretty cool. But um, you can see right here, uh, there's just there going to be a ton of different things you can do to customize it, just like on any Android device. But this one has more customization, in my opinion, because Huawei, the way that they let you customize the device, you can customize anything from the text um, within the um, within the phone. You don't have to download like a separate um, software to do it. So it's just definitely pretty cool. But you can also down another so download other softwares to do it as well. But a lot of phones they don't even give you that ability to customize the themes, such as like um, you know stock Android or whatever. But um, I definitely like the fact that Huawei gives you that ability like right out of the box and um just opened up apps for daily performance there weren't any issues and you know, this thing was released um you know sometime in october i believe let me just make sure it was released in um it, it was announced in some somewhere in january this year and was released the same month but now it's in november right now and i've had this device for pretty much the whole year now and this thing also does offer the feature where you get hybrid dual sims and you also get the ability to have a um uh, uh you know this this the sd card too 
so you can actually put all three in at the exact same time which is definitely pretty sick for if some people like to do that but i've always just used one sim card in, in devices but it does um let you expand the storage up to one um terabyte which is definitely sick but um now i'm gonna just do a quick benchmark test you can see we are at 749 3635 so um you know that's pretty cool all right for some reason um you know you're gonna see right here we're gonna go ahead and run the test a new benchmark test after the up with eight and I, I noticed that the score went down by like 20 points on the multi-score and by like 10, like 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 five on the single score. So it's kind of weird, but um, that thing doesn't matter anyway. This thing just definitely always performs really well, like no matter what. So um, I didn't have any issues with it, but you can see like the score went down. Like when I ran that Geekbench 4, I know like Geekbench 5 is out, but like I'm, I'm just kind of used to like looking at the scores on Geek, Geekbench 4 for some reason. Cause like Geekbench 5 makes them, like the scores look really low, I don't know. But you know, I still rock with Geekbench 4, but if you guys want to see more Geekbench tests, I can definitely run some on some other devices just to compare them. But um, you know, that's not really gonna test, tell you whether or not if a phone is better, it just gives you an idea of um, how it racks up to other phones um, on paper but uh, you could see if you want to check out more videos just go to my playlist you can even go to the community section or go straight to the videos even check out some of these channels right here in my channel section too uh, some of the featured youtubers as well but make sure you guys stay locked in with me it's your boy Serrano and I appreciate every last one of you hit the bell as well and hit the next video as well peace